guys. All right, Steven, Chris, Vincent, we're all joined here and getting close to the end here of going on at TwitchCon. Twitch, right? The, the idea of them coming out, making this an inaugural event, some key learnings just from a Twitch standpoint and streaming from community and influencer standpoint. What are some takeaways for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it was really exciting to see Twitch take like, you know, the live broadcast and bring it into a live arena. All the, uh, all the updates Twitch is making to their platform will actually be featured on A-List Daily. They've got, what, three or four different new benefits they're talking about, a lot of great stuff. talking about yeah, some the, of the programs. The barriers are de definitely breaking, where you have outside parties like Amazon, for instance, offering special bundle discount packages just to make it much easier for streamers to actually participate with Twitch. And then you have all the new tool sets that Twitch has actually announced this, um, this weekend. There's some really cool things, man, the brands have been doing here. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's been interesting to see the different bird styles that everybody has and how the brands are kind of taking to it. You know, Rock Band 4 is back there. They have a great line and, you know, it's a really fun experience. And some have different takes on that. Yeah, that is, it's a really interesting thing to see. Some companies came out here in force with their E3 style booths and it was all about the in-event activation. Whereas other companies, like say for instance an arena that took a totally different approach where they relied on their digital footprint around the world and used the Twitch booth as a broadcast central, but it, it is a very interesting type of approach that has worked really well for them and it's just interesting to see how different companies tackled the Twitch challenge this year. Yeah, the Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns launch, uh, Vainglory, uh, Space Time Studios with Champion Heroes, so a lot of tablet actually now being enjoyed on the streamer side. Uh, the um, idea of Intel back here dealing with the challenge of streaming, providing a dual core solution of both the demand of gameplay and having the ability to have a stream case. Blizzard did a nice job, I think, as well with StarCraft and more allowing gameplay area, high res with Paladin launch. There is a lot. What this is signaling is that there's a, a change of wind here where Twitch is emerging to something that's much larger just than just gaming. It's mainstream. And in addition to FanDuel and, 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 and those type of companies, you even see charities tapping into gaming. You have Save the Children Foundation in one of the booths and using gaming as a catalyst to actually fundraise. So it, it's a great thing to see our industry actually growing beyond the, the standard bubble that that has defined it up until this point. Let's talk about the creators then. That's probably their final note, right? In terms of creators, there's the partner component of what a, a streamer represents within Twitch's portfolio. But the, the crowd here, this is something they're embracing. Everyone's in. I mean, they're in. This is just this new era of how to share your relationship, be open about what you're doing in your life, and bringing that to anybody who wants to listen and share with it. It's pretty powerful. I think you guys nailed it, right? It's like it's all about the engagement for for this platform, right? In particular, like the engagement levels that you get, and I think you're seeing it here, right? It's kind of kind of personified here at TwitchCon, right? Like right behind us, there's there are long lines to meet like each one of the personalities that are kind of here, and that's a big component of what they're trying to do at TwitchCon, right? Is like being able to meet everyone in person. All right, guys. Well, that's our uh, that's our ongoing effort to keep us educated, and hopefully, it's helping keep you educated. Tune into A List Daily. There'll be more coverage on that. Ion.co in terms of brands to be able to understand how to engage and deal with influencer strategies and planning, as well as if you're a talent or streamer and want to learn more about how to get compensated and how to deal with the value and relationship with the brand side, that platform Ion.co is a great place to start and, and log into and get in there.